Hello, everybody. Candy Cadet back here again for another video. This time it will be a review. Sounds weird, but I can assure you there's nothing wrong. It's just I had to take a visit somewhere. But, anyways, let's get started with our first figure. She did something so horrible. So, so horrible. So horrible. So horrible. That she caused the death of a little girl named Elizabeth. She never has told anyone. say this figure is quite nice. I love the way they did her. It looks just like me. I didn't. That was just a voice. I did not say that. They all look just like me of course. You may know what's happening to me. I know it. I know that you know it. So there's Baby. I like her little shoes that they gave her. Her body looks pretty, pretty accurate to the game. Her face looks kind of wonky, but it works with the pops. She is a really good figure. And I like her. Next up, the lady that always sings. She likes to quiet. I also like to dance. The voices that you hear will trick you into believing something. It's not real. Because Bogora has such tiny feet and such a big head, she comes with a little stand so that she does not Bagoa. And I really do like the figure. The paint is excellent. I love her feet. 
I love the face. She looks kind of wonky, but it works with the pops. At least it's totally different compared to what pops look like. This is a location pops or, and the other FNAF pops are really one of the best ever created by Funko as they're so detailed for what they are. And the others are just the plain old reuse model. But no, not for FNAF, not for Balor. I have to use a different model. She can't dance. She can't dance. But she would fit for a dancing pose. And just like her crushing dreams of never going out, we move on to someone a little bit more funnier. Someone that always likes to find the birthday. Someone who wants to find a birthday boy, but can't until one time. There he is, Fun Time Freddy, with my pal Bon Bon. Fun Time Freddy looks excellent. The Bon, the Bon Bon hand puppet looks just like he does in the game. So does his body. The bodies are excellent and the face is also. What looks kind of weird is that his head looks just like the normal Freddy head. But of course, it's a different mold because of the faceplate lines, the outer rims around the eyes, and the cheeks. So he, so he is not a recolor or a remodel. I am totally new. The last we move on. Foxy. The man or woman that always likes to put on a show. He is very good looking. I like her nails. I like his speaker, I like her lips, and the overall just looks pretty, pretty good. Of course, he is ungendered. I don't even know the gender myself. Well, it's not my fault. We can't, no one knows what a robot's gender is. Duh. Heck, even I don't know. Nobody knows. Not even him. And by the way, I love the little tail on the back. <laughs> and you thought this was just over. No. It's not over. Until... Never mind, scratch that. You thought there was four. No. We got one more showcase. As you can see, you have two in front of you. Let's begin by global pal bun bun. You really gotta love Bon Bon. He's so exciting. So nice with Funtime Freddy. He is like a 
Fun Time Freddy's Anger Management Helper. What I love about him is that he's so shiny. He looks just like he does. And I'm happy that I was able to get him. He... I don't know if it was he... Him... Or another character I'm about to show. That was my first sister location pop. I think. I think it was him though. But you gotta say... He looks pretty neat. To be fair, he looks like the shiniest out of them all. Pretty nice figure. Now we move on to one of my most expensive, I think, figures I have. A little bit. Now this figure, I've always wanted it since it came out in 2014, 2017. New York. so bad and just for twenty dollars I got her this is one of the coolest thing if you can't see it inside of a TV screen of course Funko did something creative as in the game Loba does appear inside of screens but they're not TV screens or so I think I don't quite remember. I didn't observe them, but I did observe what was inside of the screens. She's a really good figure. One of the best. But what I don't like is that they left her eyebrows on. As you can tell, this is a completely new mold. The head is, of course, much smaller than the than normal Funtime Foxy's. So they had to redo a new model. So I would have liked it if they made, if they took out the eyebrows. But it looks cute on her. It makes it, you know, pop out more. And of course, I like the police stand by sign. And now we move on to our last two figures. Of course, you might think that there's four more figures. Well, I don't have the other two. So you probably didn't see these, or you probably did. Uh, another baby. And another Ballora. But, they are jump scare poses. Let's start off with my first ever chase I have. This is Ballora. I really like the figure. Of course, there's nothing new with the body except they didn't paint her little, you know, um, shoes with the little red dot. Instead, they put, yeah, instead they put a white dot. But the key feature here is the face. That face I love. It looks so, so identical to her. I don't know why, but this face plate is a little broken. Not broken. It's just not like proper. It wasn't probably glue or something. Because this one is also flabby. But it's not as flabby as this one. But that face is what makes it one of the coolest pops. Or one of the coolest chase pops. 
Because with Funko and their pops, most of their chases are always either the chases either are just a recolor or just the character holding something or having something different. But no, here they had to sculpt a whole new different head, which is what makes this a really key figure. And just makes it a really cool, amazing figure. Ooh. And last but not least, the ring leader, which we never quite get to see. That we never see this in the game. Of course, I've seen it. I've done it. I would say I love this figure. I love all the faceplates she has. Now I would quite say that she is. Now that I remember, she probably is my first ever sister location pop. I bought it from Walmart. You know, they're not that expensive. She's not that rare. I don't, I don't understand why, but she isn't. I would say that I love the face, the face plates. It just brings this figure to life in a, in a whole new way. And that's really what I like. And of course, this figure has some painting issues. I've seen it in all the pops that I have this. And I don't know if it was just the summer exclusives and maybe the ones inside the AO I had the paint on but mine's her feet her little jingle bell feet um shoes don't have the little yellow dot her little kneecaps don't have the little gray joints and her hands don't have the red circle that's there but isn't colored in but either way the head is what makes this a really awesome figure. And now to show us them all. attention to that noise. And last but not least. So let's show us the figure. Oh. No, I'm not going to retake this whole video. I'll wait for the noise to stop. Oh no. Why are you a little? Oh. 
Oh, don't mind that. That was just so noise. Don't mind it. I just don't. Ugh. Stupid thing. You stay there. Of course she's in me. Idiot. So here's all the characters. Well, figures. You have baby. Get baby back there. Got Ballora. Jump scare Ballora. Fun time for you with Bon Bon. Bon Bon alone. Fun time Foxy. And last but not least, a little bit. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. don't like Ugh. is that they haven't made a figure Understand why they never made a figure of me. It's been almost three years, and they haven't even made a figure of me. Uh, no, it's not bad. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you have to get out. Okay. Uh, we have to go now. I'll see you guys in the next video.